So this is part three of our series about um, soil building. And this part is about using red manure worms in a worm farm to build the fertility of your garden soil. On the shady south side of our house, we've built a worm farm using an old recycled cast iron bathtub in a very simple frame just to hold it up off the ground, built out of recycled pallets with these old recycled core flutes on top just to keep the rain out and some hessian sacks to provide a bit of insulation. When we first um, started it just a few months ago, we filled it with compost out of the chook pen as bedding with some shredded cardboard in it and a few thousand worms. They've bred up really phenomenally in the last few months. We don't feed them very much house um, scraps because we feed that to the chooks. It's too valuable as chook food. We feed them the eggshells just put through a blender because we don't want to give them back to the chooks and it provides them with a bit of calcium and um, in, if we didn't use that we'd provide them with a sprinkle of lime to provide the calcium for them. What we've discovered that they really really like is half fermented seaweed out of the seaweed barrel that we featured in part two. Um, they, as you can see they're breeding up phenomenally in that. There's a lot of stuff about how you can't feed worms, orange, citrus skins or onions. I find that you can give them a bit of that so long as you don't give them too much of it, it's fine. They really like anything green and a bit slimy. Um, so garden scraps and you know, outside leaves of collies, cabbages, weeds. And they like it better if it's a little bit slimy. They, they actually feed by sucking the slime off. The main product of it that we use is this leachate or wormwe. Um, it's very strong and very, very valuable. So we dilute it, fill up a bucket with water and add about this much to it. It's a high value fertilizer. I use it on plants that might be feeling a little bit sick on anything that is uh, having a growth spurt on seedlings in things that are in pots or strawberries when they're fruiting. The other useful product of it is the worm castings, which are like a, a thick mud that you get mostly from the bottom. So if I feed them up one end of the farm, I can dig down the other end and get the mud without getting too many worms in it. And I use this quite sparingly in potting mix or rich fertilizer. So that's the worm farming series. You can subscribe to this channel or you can visit witcheskitchen.com.au to see part one and part two.